Hello people, this is SelfTurds and we are continuing our series on Python MongoDB and in this particular video, we will learn about finding documents inside MongoDB collection. So if you want to see that in MongoDB, we can use find and find one method just like the select statement of MySQL. So if you have used MySQL or Postgres or anything, you must have seen the select statement that is the selection of different documents based on the where clause or based on the criteria. So same way MongoDB provides us with find and find one method to search inside a collection to get some documents from a collection. So if you want to get a single document, then you need to use the find one. So find one does what it returns the first occurrence of the document. So let's say you are trying to do a search on the basis of some criteria or you want to just find something from the collection. So you may get more than one document, but find one will return the first occurrence only and find will do what the find will return all the occurrence of the document which satisfies the condition. So let's say you have different user and you want a user which all the users, those who have age greater than 10. So in that case, we, you need to use the find method. Now find does not return the document itself. It returns a cursor object and then you need to loop over the cursor to get the document. So basically find one will return you the document itself and find will return you a cursor object. And after the cursor object is written, you can loop over the cursor object using simple loop in Python and then you can find the different document. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and then we can do some coding here. So in the previous videos, we have already created a Mongo client and we are using a local instance of our MongoDB. So it is running on this particular IP address 192.168.0.10 and the port is 27017 and the database that we are using is inventory. So we have created a Mongo client here and after that we are trying to access the database. So this is the database reference and on the database reference we are referencing the items collection and we will try to find the documents on the items collection. So this is a collection reference to the items. So in last video, we have inserted some documents inside our MongoDB. So if I open my RoboMongo, then you can see these are the different documents that are already present here. We are generally inserting here different items inside the inventory. So this is the first item. This is the second item. This is the third and this is the fourth item. So these are the different items which we have already inserted. If I do again here, you can see these are the four different items which are currently available inside this items collection. Now let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's try to find a single document. So let's say document is equal to what collection dot find. So if I say find one and if I don't provide anything, so it will match with more than one document, but it will return the first occurrence only. So let's do a print here. So I'll do a print of document. Now let's try to run the program on the right hand side. So let's run python app.py and you can see we got a single document. So this is the first occurrence. So even though the find one matches with more than one document, but you get a result of only one document and the result is directly the document. So let's go to here that is item canvas. So if you see here, if I do this, what happens? Okay, so you can see here the first item is canvas. So that's why we got the canvas in our returned object. Now let's try to find all the documents. So this was the first document and then we will say, oh, so the find does what? It doesn't return all the document at once. It will return you a cursor object. So let's say we'll say cursor is equal to what? Collection dot find not find one find. So what this will do, this will get all the documents from the collection because we are not providing any criteria inside our find method. Since we are not providing any query filter or let's say where clause. So what it will do, it will go to the collection, which collection items collection, and it will try to fetch all the document and then you will get the cursor object. So let's first do what let's do print and then cursor dot what count. So let's see how many documents are there. Let's come to the right hand side and do a python app.py. So you got total four documents here and we can see 
in RoboMongo that we have four different document. Now let's say we don't know that what is cursor object and we will just print it. Okay. So let's print it and see what happens on the right hand side. So you will get a cursor object. This is not the documents. So for finding the documents, you need to loop over it. So I'll say for each document in the cursor. So it will go one by one to every document. And then what I'll do, I'll print the each document. Okay, fine. So I'm printing each document and let's say I'll do print and I'll put a, a something separator like this. Okay, fine. Let's go to the right hand side and this time let's do a print. So you get here all the four documents. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third and this is the fourth. So we got canvas, item name, journal, mat and the mouse pad. So these are the different documents which are present inside my MongoDB. Now you can do some different things over the cursor or the document by seeing this different method. So I'll go to cursor. And if you do a dot, you get these many different options like sorting and other thing, which we'll see later on. Okay, fine. So this was how you can find the document inside your MongoDB. So now we are not using any filter or query parameter. So either you get a single document, which is the first match document using find one. And from find, you will get all the documents. So let's say you are having 1000 document inside your collection. So find will give you all the 1000 document. It will not give only two or three. It will give all the document because we are not providing any filter to our find method. Uh, this was all about this video. Hope you find this video very informative. So please share these videos with other people and thank you for watching.